Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers I'm very glad you found my channel and are joining us. In today's video, my name is Yvonne, in today's video I want to flip through, uh, through the finished ephemera trifold. It's fully packed, it's very hard to uh, stop adding things. So I'm going to try to move it as easily as I can. This is uh, yeah, more than a yard, about one and a half yards of lace I really like. And the recipient uh, of this trifold can, uh, can use it on this trifold or somewhere else. You can always um, put an eyelet here and an eyelet in there and then um, close it like that. So yeah, the back and the front you saw already probably uh, if you followed along. And if you didn't, you can uh, in, look up the playlist. Uh, I will link down below the first video uh, where I start making this complete folio off camera. Of course, I uh, Fill this completely. This I left blank because you can see it already. It's very chunky and there wouldn't fit anything in here because here you could put a, po a pocket. But uh, my intention is that the the one uh, the person who buys this uh, can make it her own. For example, you can you take everything out and put it with your own stash if you already have stash and uh, then put uh, for example if you're working on a project put all the items you want to use in that project in this folio and uh, uh, in that way you will have everything at hand. Here I did the book pages I'm going to take all the things out and show you properly. Here are different uh, papers the Naked Journal, like I said before, in here are small envelopes, coin envelopes and normal envelopes and a beautiful lace, I have to do it like that, beautiful lace frame. It's double sided. And in the third part are all kinds of bags and uh, envelopes filled with the smaller ephemera. Yeah, these are filled also. Uh, yeah, this is not completely necessary that I take that all out. Different uh, French script uh, book pages, uh, German and Old German, and I mean by that my favorite font. If you follow me longer, you know this is my favorite, but there are, uh, I think there are pages with a normal uh, German uh, text. Some Dutch pages, that has to be in here, of course, because I'm Dutch. Uh, Italian and Latin, it's a bit combined because these uh, come from Rachel from Roxy Creations. And yeah, I have no idea how you uh, write Latin, but I know they're in there. A Chinese page, a, shine, ch uh, a Japanese page, a Chinese page, some English, I didn't put too many of those in there because yeah, most of my followers are English, native English. A Greek page and a small Spanish one. And these I don't have that many of, so that's why there is only one of each uh, in here. Now put position them later. Maybe I have to adjust the, the things. The beautiful. Uh, Digital, like I said in the videos where I make the, fold, the trifold, uh, it's a design team for Christie Everlasting Journals, and I will link her uh, information down below. She makes beautiful kits. I'm going to take the journal out, and we'll do that later. In here, a braille paper. I love that so much, I had to put it in here. Transparency paper, beautiful to print on and to make, for example, a vellum bag. 
The vintage music sheet was too wide, so I had to fold it a bit. I don't like folding, that's why I made such a large uh, ephemera holder, but yeah, some pages are even more wide. This is like an onion skin. This is a beautiful front piece of a ledger. I really like that script. So that's you can use that any way you like. Again, a music vintage music sheet, vintage receipt paper, vintage ledger. This is from a, a very old book, Mathematics, and this is a full letter from the Journalosity shop. I hope I pronounced that well, and it's my favorite letter. Uh, to print and to age up, so I had to put one in here. The frame I showed you already. I'm going to put that a bit higher so we can see the beautiful envelopes. This is an envelope I made with the envelope punch board. This is from Ruby and Pearl, but this is from the kit, the background kit. I made an envelope the inside also I always uh, print double sided. In here are some items to work with. Two pieces of uh, book page and packaging with texture paste on it. A beautiful die cut doily in different uh, colors. A little tag embossed. I think they got stuck on, on each other, or they're, ah, they're still in here. And I have a tab shape that is embossed, and just a cute little heart. This is also from packaging, so this is very thin. I love to use this kind of thing, but these are very nice to add just a, a little cute touch. And they go into the envelope, and everything, including the envelope, can be used in projects. Ah, I put this is from the kit also. I cut it out because I really like this yeah, kind of a seal stamp in, uh, in receipts. Mostly it's on receipts, and I glued it on there. In this little vellum bag, it's uh, really old, this vellum bag, are of course, my favorite sample uh, dates from the past. Ten pieces of that, and these are real old and vintage stamps. Some, some are newer, but just a little variety of stamps to get you started. I'm going to put them back in here. Here is the... I don't know if... Yeah, if you collect stamps, you know what this is. This is what they were gluing it into the post-it stamp book. So you could always, yeah, feel the, the stamp. They never glued them in completely. And let's see if I can get them back without taking that much time. And these are also so beautiful to, uh, to use in your projects. And I try to make yeah, a nice variety uh, of things. That will go back in here. Then this cute little envelope. And in there are just some numbers to get you started. They go in this one. Put that back. This is a digital. It's, um, I can't remember, I think Miss Viola Vintage. And in here are some tickets, and these are all vintage, yeah, old or vintage, but uh, real tickets. At least I bought them to be real tickets. <laughs> oh, it's not going in there. And if you use them, you can use the envelope for another project. This is uh, my favorite vintage uh, envelope. It's from Ruby and Pearl. I backed it uh, with a light dotted uh, print. 
And in here is a variety of different, also in style a bit different, uh, labels. Some address labels, some with designs on it, some a bit more grungy. So yeah, like I said, again, a variety of things. So if you if your style is grungy or botanical or whatever it is, you'll find items in uh, this trifold that will uh, suit your style. And maybe uh, you want to make all different kinds of projects. That's possible too. And this little spool with just a little piece of lace and it's just decorative. There's not much lace on there because it's so small. If I put, I try to put more lace on it so it could be used, but it was way too bulky and the, the spool was yeah completely covered in, in lace and that's not the intention I had. So this is a in a way a ready-made ephemera piece that can be used in a journal. So this will go back in here. I'm going to shift it again. And in here are a lot of bags. I'm going to take them out. No, I didn't. I'm going to take it out so for the new uh, for the the one the people who didn't see the the making of this. You can see the beautiful collaging. I'm going to take that out also. I'll put everything back later. So the beautiful papers of the kit. And in here. Again, all kit pages. These are from a different designer. Um, I can't remember. These are Roxy Creations, and I think this is also a, a Journalosity shot, the script, because uh, I didn't have a kit of uh, Christy Everlasting Journals with text pages. So I'm going to put this to the side also, and then we can take a, a look at all the bags. These are just pieces and two complete book pages on which I use textual paste. And you can tear them out or use them as a complete page. Now this is not holding in here. It's all, all vintage paper, very, yeah, this is very fragile. This is thicker on music sheet and on packaging. So you can see the different uh, things you can use texture, texture paste on. Need to try that again, see if it holds. No, nope. again, later. It's also to give you an, you an idea what you can all uh, what you can use and what is possible. This is a vellum bag. It's a background page from uh, Christie, and I uh, printed it on vellum. And after a tutorial of uh, Ruby and Pearl XO, I made a coin envelope. So that's an item you can use. And in there are two pieces of handmade paper. I didn't do that myself, I bought that. And uh, I embossed them to index card. No, it's not Rolodex cards. I really love those. And craft paper, a beautiful oh, die cut. Let's see, yep, yeah, I rescued it. To use, I can put it on here, you can see it more better. Beautiful frame. These I also love very much in three sizes. The negatives, a bookmark, I just packed it with uh, some ledger. And the Tim Holtz, uh, I'll put it on here, the Tim Holtz slot die, and this is um, kit paper from the digital uh, kit. Very beautiful. It's from the same, it's these flowers. I really like how, uh, how that turned out. And you can uh, stick it in your, on your page and slot uh, 
put all kinds of little items uh, in the slots. So let's put this in this bag. We'll put it together later. In there also, uh, I used every image in the kit. Some I used already and all the others I backed. So it, they're ready to go uh, to be used by the recipient. Here I left a little extra piece. It's very old book page, very stained and colored. I really love that. And that's the image from the kit. And extra journaling space. This I backed for journaling, but if the recipient wants to stick it on a page and collage, that's of course her own choice. This is packaging paper and I made again a bag and embossed it. In there, uh, if you follow the tutorial, you know that I had to make the cover again because it was way too thick. It's very sturdy. And I cut two pieces out of the old uh, cover because it will make nice tags. And yeah, I thought it was a waste to uh, throw them away so they can be used in a journal. A beautiful image from the kit. And these are two. This is vintage. This I don't really know, but they are receipt and guest checks. Some note paper I have little notepads of, and I thought they're always nice for journaling or putting a little note in your journal and to for uh, receipts. So that's all in the brown bag. And again, very old uh, coin envelope of vellum. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know if you, yeah, you can see it, I think, because this isn't even white and it's really uh, colored, a bit yellowish. With all kinds of things. An image from the kit I really liked and I backed it uh, with a full postcard. And in here, Everybody in the Netherlands knows Ot and Sim, so it's a, a postcard. It's not vintage, but the images and the books are very, very old. And I think almost every child, especially in my age range, I'm 61, has grew up with Ot and Sim. A cute music page, a flashcard. Again, an image from the page. I didn't back this, I just left it to be uh, used in the kit. A very cute monkey feeding the birds. Reinforcers. One I inked and the other one I left blank because you can always stamp them with text. That's all, also very nice. And a vintage uh, calling card, but they are still empty. But you can see the embossed uh, piece. This is raised. Very beautiful. So that's in that vellum bag. And that's everything that comes with this ephemera trifold. So it's really a lot. There's more than enough things to get you started or even for someone who is uh, yeah, an advanced uh, crafter. I think everybody uh, can, use, uh, can use extra supplies. So I'm going to put this a bit, or can we, no, we can see it. This is the Naked Journal. Here is again another spool I made and I just hung it on the journal just for fun. The book plate, if you're interested, I did that on video also. It's the back of the journal. This is just decorative. It wasn't necessary for the reinforcement. It's sturdy enough. And Inside, this I made on camera also, beautiful journaling card to get you started. And it fits in the lace pocket. And I'm just going to uh, flip through the journal. 
kids page, also from the kids, the old mathematics uh, page, packaging, Roxy Creations uh, book page, this is from the kit, braille paper, old uh, ledger, music also very old, this again also a book page from a bird book, kind of the onion skin, the digital from the kit, this also an old book page from a gardening book, flower book, this is my uh, favorite German font, uh, dictionary page, kit page, yeah, digital kit page, this also, straw paper, this is from kind of a Edith Holden book, but it's a different one, but a lot of people use it because of the beautiful uh, script text, and this is the central image, I left this the way uh, just long, and the recipient can uh, bead it if she wants, and otherwise she can uh, cut them short. A beautiful image in the middle, and then the back sides of all the pages, again the kit, this is also from the kit, flower book, also the background from the kit, and the kit page, the flower of the bird book, and the music, the ledger, the braille paper, background uh, from the kit, and the Italian uh, book page, the packaging, the mathematic book, also background from the kit, this is just a kit page, and in here, in the back, again the same uh, lace pocket, my logo, I made, we have seen, all have seen these pockets many times, originally they are from uh, Heather from Rose Hill Paper Cottage, this can completely flip open, I will do that, and inside you can tuck all kinds of images, and these images are all from the kit. And I just cut them out and put them on different papers. Here you have a lot of writing space. On this one I did a full postcard, I love that. Here the small one you can write on the back, and this one has all also the... Oh, it's not focusing. Uh, ledger the graph uh, paper on the back, you flip it open, this is chapter one, really like that, uh, that label, Italian page, and again the picture of the kit, and I backed it with uh, writing paper that children learn to write, and so this makes a pocket, this is a pocket I created, and now you can flip it open, and I backed it with a digital from the kit, and this is all writing space, you fold it up again, and this is the, the, book, the Italian book page, so you fold it up again, and up, and you have all the pockets and tuck spots uh, to put your cards in, so it's a beautiful idea to stuff a lot of things, this goes in the front, yes, this is on the back, and with just one paper clip it all stays together, with embossing and a number, and it's beautiful decorated. So I did put this in the back, so that the journal isn't completely empty. Oh, it gets stuck. So I hope you enjoyed this flip through and it gave you an idea what is all in this beautiful trifold and uh, if you're interested please let me know and uh, we'll work something out and uh, again as always thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video I would love for you to give a like, a comment or subscribe. It will help my channel to grow and I love making these videos. And I will see you in the next time. Bye, have a great day.